Yeah, very much. I mean, my feeling is there's sort of two strands of this. Uh, first of all, there's the football hooligans who've always been there, who've just found a new platform. But there is very much a group of people who do not feel listened to, who don't feel that things that matter to them are being raised and dealt with. And of course, my classic example is the child abuse that's been going on in Rotherham. Um, and they, they, you know, it, it comes from a legitimate position, but then the outcome, which is usually about racism or threats and intimidation, is the wrong outcome to the problem. But you were effectively sacked from your front bench post for, for speaking out, um, as many people would have said, uh, about saying that Britain has a problem with British Pakistani men raping and exploiting white girls. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that now? Do you still stand by that? Oh, I still stand by it because the evidence backs me up. Um, and two independent inquiries have backed me up, both commissioned by, well, one by the council and one by the government. So your party was trying to shut you down? Um, you'll have to ask my party that. Uh, it certainly felt like it at the time. Right. I mean, this is one of the issues that